This video describes the procedure to generate a revolved section view for the part as shown in here. This is a dual bearing. We'll make this in the drawing sheet. So in the drawing sheet, we move over to task pane. We have view palette. Select the file which is open in the dual bearing. From the, the various multi views, select the front view as the view from which the section would be generated the scale is too big let us try to reduce the scale select the view and in the property manager change it to a custom scale this is uh, 1 is to 1 let's make it uh, 1 is to 1.5 that's uh, appropriate enough remove the tangent edges by clicking somewhere inside the highlighted box for the front for the front view tangent edges removed we add a regular top view we let's project that by going over drawing toolbar project view and select the front view and simply drag to get the top view add the hidden lines this would indicate the depth of the features that we have in here for both the boss and the hole that's existing in there to get the shape of the rib that we have here in the middle let's add a revolved section view this is uh, as seen from the right side so uh, on the drawing toolbar section view select a vertical cutting line this would represent the right plane and the front view so drop it somewhere between the two cylinders so i'll drop it randomly over here accept this and in the dialog box that uh, comes up for excluding the features that are not to be hatched uh, though the rib is cut by the section plane in this case we keep them hatched and do not exclude them from hatching so leave this blank and say okay when you get the right side view try to exclude all the other lines and retain only the region that is cut by the cutting cutting line so let's try to uh, check the box here which is slice section in the property manager which leaves behind only the region that is cut by the plane this view which is the right sectional view needs to be tracked by holding the highlighted dotted line around it and then brought into the front view so this is how the revolved section view is represented this is one way of representing it the other way you can create a split line i would drag this out create a break line uh, between uh, or across the cutting line that you have here and insert this in between this can be done by going to drawing toolbar you have uh, a break view the cutting direction is vertical size we'll leave it for now what 12.7 we have a zigzag cut as the style so let's drop this in the front view select the view it's already selected there as the right view so i'll move move out of this click on it on it again this is break view select the make the selection in the property manager and drop one break line before the cutting line another one after it since the space is insufficient to have uh, the right side view in here let's increase the spacing between them the gap size is 22.7 i'll make it like 25 and see if that would be okay accept this simply move out of the command and drag the revolve section that we have just generated and keep it between the break lines this is also not sufficient let's try to select these break lines and increase the gap between them make it like 30 that's good enough uh, okay so this is how uh, a revolved section view is generated you may add the other details like center lines center marks and so on as described in earlier videos thank you